guys, it's Laura from Starshook Media, and today we're here with... Eric Lopez. Ah, should I say what it, Oh. And can, you, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing now? Yep. I am currently a swing in the off-Broadway production of the Jackie Mason musical, running at St. Luke's Theatre on 46th and 7th, and I'm also a contestant on season 14's American Idol. So do you want to tell us a little bit about the musical you're in right now? So the musical is based on an affair that actually our director had with Jackie Mason, the comedian. And I play a really crazy fan who attacks basically Jackie Mason and hits him and then serenades him and then gets a job off of him. So throughout second half, I'm like really into him and I'm like, you can see me eyeing him very intensely. So it, it's a cool role. It's a, it's a really fun role to play too. So not many people know about what it is to be a swing. Do you want to explain that a little bit? Sure. I basically understudy all the parts. Jackie Mason actually has his own swing, but I understudied the role of Wooly and the role of Nelson Z. So I have to know all the parts, have to go to every show, and if they say, oh, so-and-so is out, can you cover today? That's when I swing in. So you never really know what part you're going to play. So do you want to explain how you got into musical theater in the first place? I always liked performing. I always enjoyed it. I just didn't think I could take it to this level. So I just, after high school, I just started auditioning and learning things from different people, taking classes, and just learning how I could make a career out of it. And I really lucked out and got this role. So I'm really thankful to Ginger Ryder for taking a chance on me, because honestly, she turned me down twice. And then I tried out again, too. goes, oh, okay. And then she basically hired me. So yeah, it, it was interesting. So this is your first off-Broadway show? It is. It is considered my off-Broadway debut. The tickets are at TKTF. So it's a, ni it's a nice little start. It's a nice, uh, the cast is really nice. And uh, that's the one thing I've learned. I've learned so much from them already just by being a swing. So it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, like swing life I've heard is super complicated. Like it's how long did it take you to learn I all the parts? It took... Or are you a fast memorizer? I'm <laughs> not that fast memorizer. I would say it took... I know Nelson Z, the role I play more, more than the other one, so I'm, I'm guilty of that. But it, it, I kind of just had to do it, because I really, I had a two weeks to learn the role. So I saw the, the show for like two weeks, and then I finally was put in on uh, November 13th. Wow, awesome. So if you can move to any roles like on Broadway that are playing right oh, now, Lord. what would that be? Uh, easy, I would do Broadway shows. Uh, Raul and Phantom. Oh yes. <laughs> but I need to lose like twenty pounds first. And the Potter. I need to. I would love to play anything from Lame Is. I will do. I'm one of those weirdos. I will do any show. You can have me contracted for a day, and I will stand there and do. I don't care. You can let me go after a day. I would love to do obviously the Phantom, but I'm too young. But Phantom is like my dream show. Mm -hmm. I sing very um, classically, so that's like. I always say if I'm gonna have a Broadway debut, it's gonna be a Phantom. We'll, <laughs> well see. hey, they're casting really young now, so. <laughs> they cast an amazing girl, Kaylee Borges. She's from Ohio. I actually met her recently. She is amazing, and she's kind of like inspiring because she's 20 and now she's she has a Broadway debut, and I'm 19. Now made my off Broadway debut. So and she's inspiring. I, yeah. I like her. She's Little cool. shout out to Kaylee right there. Little shout out to Kaylee. <laughs> and she signed my playbill with a heart. Just saying. So now you're going to be a contestant on American Idol. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? I am. Okay. So Like the audition product, you know, but everybody wants to know like what goes on. So okay. On so they have the, obviously, not everyone goes in front of the celebrity judges. There's about five rounds before the actual TV round. So... It was at NASA Coliseum in Long Island, big arena. There are about 10,000 people, mm -hmm. and you're giving 30 seconds to kind of impress the basically production assistants and PAs. Mm -hmm. So on the line to the audition, I, I really shouldn't say this, but I'll say it. On the line to the audition, I was riffing the ABCs. I was like, I was I, the only reason why I did it is because they said, you can sing anything. And I was kind of making fun of the website. So you can even sing the ABCs. So I literally stood on the line. Every time someone with their American Idol press pass was walking by, I was like, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, like trying to get their attention. And they were like, oh, and tell me about yourself. So I kind of wiggled myself in that way. Mm -hmm. So they told me, um, you know, well, when you get there, be confident. So I sang 
maybe one more time by Britney Spears. <laughs> and in my second song, I sang Nessun Dorma, which is a very operatic song. Mm -hmm. So they kind of liked that I could do the hit me baby one more time and then go yeah. like so they that's how they kind of played me up and then you know I made about four more cuts and then I was told maybe two weeks okay you're gonna sing for J-Lo Ari and actually Keith was absent which was a really a bummer oh. but Adam Lambert uh, who was a runner-up was a guest judge Oh, that's, so you got to perform in front of them. What did you yeah. sing in front of them? Was it, uh, it or while are you waiting? To I, I cannot say what I sang, but okay. I, I will say that um, Adam Lambert fronts Queen now. So I was very, yes, and, and yes. they didn't tell me or any of the other contestants that. So I did sing a Queen song in front of him, and it was very oh, nerve wracking. <laughs> well, that's so. awesome. So who do you look up to as singers? Like, I'm sure when you were growing up, going into musical theater, you had somebody you looked up to, op maybe opera. Yeah, I always looked up to obviously to Pavarotti and uh, Norm Lewis. Obviously, I'm so happy he's doing Phantom. Oh yeah, he's uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ray Mean, of course. Like I oh, copy Ray him. <laughs> I am one of those like till I till I hear you sing from Lover Never Dies. I like copy everything it does. <laughs> I'm not supposed to copy what I do. Um, yeah, I always um, you know looked up Josh Groban. Anybody who um, like the younger people because yeah. you can identify with. Yeah, that's awesome. So, okay, what else? I can always cut. Hmm, what else do we want to know about you? Tell us a little bit about your personal life. Like, what it, what's your favorite things to do? I always like getting to know people like that. My favorite thing to do when I'm not doing this American Idol or Pro thing, I love I love to sleep, and I know that's pathetic. But I love my sleep. <laughs> Who doesn't? I know, love so. to listen to music and dance because I can't really dance, but I like to dance because, like, I like to dance like to the Beyonce stuff. Like, I have no shame. Like, I'll walk around and do like the walk because, like, she's so. Co I wish I was good enough to sing that kind of music and that kind of dance because she's like yeah. epic. But you know, I like you know. Well, that's kind of singing and dancing. I love to read. I find any article on theater or anything that um, Broadway stars pull out or uh, very inspiring. Sierra Bogus, another shout out. I'm in love. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'll give a shout out to her too. She is a. I love. I'm in, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with her. I like. I, I'm obsessed. Like it's really bad. And she actually did a show at 54 Below, and I remember. I, I, went to the, I You I, did. Not the Awakening, but I went to the more recent. I did the more recent one. Yeah. And she was like, uh, and I said to her, Oh, I would love to do a show at 54 Below. Well, magically, I booked this show called Future Fest on June 6th at 7:30. <laughs> it um, it is featuring any um, sh uh, what is it? Any features? Any college person with Broadway or off-Broadway credits. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a celebration. That's or TV awesome. credits, so they're, of course. Do you, who are some of the other people performing that? Do you, I, mean, I don't know, yeah. Um, <laughs> I haven't gotten my first rehearsal. Um, <laughs> the cut, no. I, was, I know, I hear that the cast is pretty epic. I know there's someone from Park Point, another Kaylee shout out. So I don't know, it, there's some, and there's, a and there's a surprise host, which we don't know about. Mm -hmm. Previous hosts have been uh, Ramin, Christian, uh, Kristen, is it Kristen Jenna? Kristen. Kristen Chenoweth. So it should be interesting who our guest host is. Yeah, that'll be so cool to see. What if it is like Remy? If it's Remy, <laughs> like, I would probably walk out because I wouldn't do, because my song is classical. Well, not oh, classical, okay. it's legit. Like, da, 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 da. So I would walk out because I would be embarrassed to sing it. <laughs> it's not, it wouldn't be that good. Okay, so like. favorite cast album. We'll choose a few favorites out of here. Favorite cast album. Heather's, and I'll tell you, Heather's, the off-Broadway musical, because my cousin Dan Dominic was in it. So I'm very biased, and I love his cast album. That's awesome. Okay, favorite Schmackery's cookie? Uh, you gotta have one. <laughs> so you're what? Schmackery's cookie? Schmackery's cookie. You've never been to Schmackery's? <gasps> no? Oh, man. That's a New York thing. I am so we'll very there. guilty. Okay. Okay, we'll, maybe we'll go there. We'll go over there after. Um, favorite TV show? Uh, no, it's not American Idol. Um, what's my favorite TV show? <laughs> With a little help from his friends. Let's <laughs> see. I know, they're TV? all hard. It's so hard. Oh my to god, I don't know. What's a favorite TV show? Oh my favorite god. Favorite movie? Book? Selena. No one knows what that is. <laughs> I know what it is. J-Lo is in it. I'm not just saying because J-Lo is in it. It's about Selena the movie. Titanic. I love the chick flicks. Um, favorite? What was the other question? The one before that. I, oh, favorite boxing. 
No. What was the, I'm so bad at this. What is a favorite TV show? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jersey Shore Guilty Pleasure. Oh yes, I was a Jersey Trash Shore fan. Trash TV. I thought <laughs> it was uh, so yeah. Jersey Shore. Okay. So do you want to give um, a few updates, reminders on like American Idol okay. stuff and the well, musical? Okay. American Idol premieres this January 7th and 8th on Fox. Check your local listings. Then we have, of course, my 54 Below show that I'm singing in Future Fest, which is at 54 Below at um, January 5th at 7.30. And then, of course, Jackie Mason Musical, open run. We haven't, we don't have a closed day yet. We, this has been running for about four years, so we're oh, going wow. strong. Yeah. And it's pretty, pretty interesting. Four years, so hopefully we'll keep this open for a good amount of time. So, yeah, and we're at St. Luke's Theater, 46th and 8th. <laughs> Not seven. <laughs> One day, no. So yeah, I'm just excited for the future in 2015. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you. <laughs>